Okay, and we're back with more Orcs Must Die 2, the tower on Endless, currently at level 40. Ooh, a lot of people charging at me. He'll disappear down. The teleporter. Shruth, there's a lot of them coming. Put some. Oh no, I don't have enough little mana to put some more lightning in the air at the moment. Now I do. It's still not dangerous enough to put um use the big spiked log wheel that will crush people. There seems to be a lot coming towards me but I can still hold them back well enough with the standard stuff and lightning that I don't want to use that yet. There's two of them on this level and I tend to use them both on the s at the same time on the same level mainly when there's a mass of earth elementals and earth lords coming from both doors at the same time. That's when I find those most useful as it crushes so many that it makes the level where they would overwhelm you a lot easier. And I really need to... yep. I still got one of those guys firing at my archers. Which I don't know if I can hit him from here. No, the banister's in the way. But hopefully they're once he's gone... Which should be... oh, he's about to get teleported. While, it's, while I'm standing there. Let's go put some lightning down for these wonderful people. As it takes mass chunks out of mountain trolls. Hopefully that should be the end of that mountain troll. Right, that other guy's dead, so I can resurrect my archers and they won't get knocked down again immediately. This mountain troll is close to dead. And then if we freeze him, we can get the money from Mr. Moneybags. And one thing I haven't used up to this point, well I did right at the start and didn't mention it, I'll fire off number 8, is there's a way of transporting yourself right up to the top floor fast. Now, what I would normally do, even though it's not going to really be effective because I'm not going to be around after level 50 to really take advantage of it, is set these type traps. So that because of all the those knolls, which one of those is coming up the stairs at the moment, always use the inside track as the shortest possible route, is Set a, set a teleporter, then a load of, what do you call it, tar, and we'll just re-energize the traps just to keep these under control while I talk and mess up. That way they will, they will slow down on the corner. And this is not looking good, because I think I may have just messed up, but we do that, we might get rid of a couple of them. Yep, I've just messed up. Okay, this is definitely not good. Yeah, I have messed up big time. Well, some of them are going to get through. That's because I was talking too much and not thinking about what I was doing. And... I'm going to pay for it, so if we jump off here and let a load of them actually get there, we'll just live with the consequences of see the number 28 next to the wave number, it's gone down to 23, because depending on the size of the enemies that get through, it goes down by varying degrees. If it's something small, then it goes down by one. 
If it's something large like that Earth Lord that just went in there, it went down by four. And when it gets to zero, you're done. Oh, there's a couple of grenadiers right here, so if we turn them to stone and hit them, and get rid of them, then resurrect my archers. Oh, didn't manage to turn you to stone. But yes, it's kind of my fault. Combination of talking too much, not concentrating enough, and I'm going to blame some of the lag as well, because I'm like that. Can't all be, can't be my fault. I don't screw up. I know what I'm doing. But yes, I didn't have enough traps in and damage enough people early enough, and hit the reset button on traps fast enough, and generally, I messed up. Hopefully, oh, there's some coins down here, we'll go collect a couple. Now, the other thing I would normally do later on this level, but I'll do a couple now because, like I say, I'm not planning on being around a lap to level 50, is you can put arrow traps on the ceiling and they stretch just far enough on this level, on these low ceilings, to be effective. Not all ceilings, but on the low ceilings. So, on the the very beginning bit of the bottom level, I wouldn't put them on the ceiling above the, let's see if I'm, where I'm currently pointing at, because it's only, basically they're only effective three tiles long. So that arrow trap will only reach or only get activated if someone's in this bit, in these three tiles of tar. So if you put them on that ceiling, something has to be three tiles down to get affected by it, which they never will be. Whereas on that bit of ceiling, it's just l just low enough that it will affect the orcs, and hopefully, well, maybe some of these will get close enough you'll actually see them fire downwards. May or may not, because they're not that powerful, and are they going to get close enough? Yep, there's one firing downwards. So it's only on that section, and there's a little section up there where you can put arrow traps on the ceiling, and it's actually effective. don't have much money so I can't really set anything else up. So that's wave 43. I think I'll take it to the... sorry this is wave 43. And then it goes to the bot bottom level. I think I might take it to wave 46. Depending on how fast I get through this lot. Well, so while I'm here I will grab some more mana. Oh that's a nice troll. I've disabled my traps again. And I think sometime in the next couple of waves is when all the earth elementals come out, but I'm not sure exactly when. Another one of my oh, another four of my arches. Uh, frost ogres are pain, and the grenadiers are pain. So let's go freeze them, or well, freeze them, make, turn them to stone, so I can do enough damage. Alright, nothing else dangerous coming, is there? Oh, there's another frost ogre, but so we'll resurrect the archers once. Come on. Good boy. 
grab the cash while I'm here. Okay, so the other thing I tend to do is put a fire trap there and a fire trap where I'm currently standing. Then to slow down the knolls and the yetis, which come straight for you, put in these gaps here, put tar traps, which gives it gives you more time. Because at some point you will basically run, as I did earlier, to the back and then hit the zero to reset the traps, and because you've slowed enough of them down, it spaces them out, so it's more effective. At least that's the plan. As you saw earlier, my plans don't always work. But there again, I should do have done a better job of concentrating. Give them some lightning. Should stop at least one of them. He says, hopefully. One. Thank you. I mean, no wonder if that's going to work. to run that mana bottle, but no big deal. No coins down there, are there? No, it's just one there. This is why I have option 8, and you use the uh, teleporters early on. Because at this point, it gets harder and harder to get coins. So, by this point, I want to have set up as many traps as possible, so that I'm not struggling later on. As you don't get many coins here, and it's a lot harder to stop them, slow them down, the value is less, so it becomes harder and harder. Again, up to a certain point, then once you've got everything set up right, you can happily walk away from this for 24 hours and come back and you'll find that, yeah, you haven't lost. I've seen other people do it on different levels. Again, because there's no save and you can't come back to this, you've got to be willing to let your PC basically be occupied for however long you want to let it run by itself once you've done all the hard work. Which takes a lot of the fun out of it, but if you're really looking to you know, put yourself somewhere at the top of a high score table without cheating, which there are a lot of people on the high score tables who have you know, got scores of a billion on level 20, on wave 20 of a level. Which you know, there's, there's no way in on this planet that you can score a billion by that point. So there are people that have cheated their way through this game to get on high score tables. And one of the nice things, they I must admit they did, is there are w Steam Workshop mods for this game. But if you're using Steam Workshop mods when the game launches, it detects whether or not you've got mods applied. It says, do you want to play with mods? And if you do, I don't believe it puts you on the high score table. It's smart enough to realise that, yeah, you're not playing a standard game. You've basically got, or you could have a lot easier game. And therefore, it's not a valid high score. But unfortunately, that doesn't stop those that blatantly cheat. Which, oh, I want to resurrect my archers, but I've got, what, six mountain trolls coming out of the higher door. I don't know how many are coming out the lower door at this point. Which, it's not a problem, because they're so slow and they will never get through the traps. But it is a pain to get rid of them all. why all these teleporters are useful just to stop them. And to get the occasional extra coin. That one's half dead. Come on. Get into the teleporter. Good. So that's why I like the teleporters, because they've now got to fight their way back through all the traps, and it gives me time to go back down there and put a bunch of lightning in the way. And course gives me the time to pick up coins 
more lightning. Hopefully that'll get rid of at least one of them. Uh, in combination with all the traps and the archers and everything else we've got going on down here. There, there goes one of them. Hopefully I might even get rid of two. There goes a second one. Good. Oh, and a third. This guy's not looking too healthy, so... of arrow walls into him might stop him as well one other thing to note with this game is some traps you place them and then you look at them later and they haven't you know arrow trap wall wall arrow traps and other traps uh, you know, springboard traps or whatever else you may be using that is required to do something not like a fire fire trap or a tar pit you just suddenly discover they're not actually firing or they're not setting off, at which point you wait until the end of a wave, put, uh, sort of highlight them by looking at them, press the E key and sell them and then just replace them with the same trap and normally the, the second time you place it, it will work. It's rare that it happens but it does happen, so it's just something you need to watch out for. And whilst I've got the time, this is what I mean about trap placement. Because when they went up the stairs they will run into that fire trap. They would run to a fire trap that would be where I'm standing, but I haven't put one there. And then they run to these couple of tar traps. I'd put another teleporter there. And I would normally put teleporters there and there so they can't go around them very easily. At which point they'll either run to a teleporter or, or enough tar to slow them down to space them out to delay, to allow your teleporters to reset. And then I would continue that theme all the way to the back here, so the next one, that one there would be a tar, that would be a teleporter, tar, teleporter, then just teleporters all the way in here. Uh, right up to the, the gate they're aiming for. And I'd have a row of teleporters, not against the wall, but there, and then I'd put a bunch of six archers back there as well. And that sh would cover most things. You could put archers on that balcony to get them as they're coming up the stairs. You can put arrow walls on the angle of the stairs. And literally by the time you hit level 100 you run out of things to place. And it's just a matter of waiting them out a lot of the time after that. And this is wave 45, at which point after this one I will pause again. I'll press number 8 just because I can. And I think this, yet yeah, this I think is the wave where I use these spiked things to go down the... Yep. Because there's lots of them. There's lots of elementals coming from that one, and there's lots of elementals and stuff coming from that one. So when they get far enough up the stairs, I will release the spiked arrow thing, and that's about f far enough, if I can hit it. There it goes, it crushes that lot, which makes this easier, and I will fire that one off, just because. And there it goes, rolling down, crushing everything in its path getting a load of points and basically stopping them from overwhelming you because now there's very few of them left and there's you've got enough stuff to deal with them so that's why I hadn't I was careful not to fire at those by by accident while I was firing straight down corridors and not firing near the stairs at an angle so they were available for when the mass earth elementals came up on level 45 or wave 45 I knew it was somewhere between wave 40 and wave 50 but again, it's been a while so I didn't know exactly when they they came out I just know they did oh of course now I've got a load of cash I can put the, the fire trap there Yeah, that one's 
done. And that's now onto wave 46, so that's where I will say goodbye, and I will see you for one last episode, which will take us to complete wave 50. See you next time.